today we're here to talk about burdock root and the Asian cultures it's often referred to as gobo. The Latin name for gobo or burdock root is arctium, a weedy plant that spreads itself very easily. It has a uh, kind of a pokey seed that will stick to your clothing when you walk by and the inventor of velcro uh, got the idea from the burdock seed. Very rich in magnesium and potassium. Its medicinal qualities are amazing. It's a blood purifier, it's a liver tonic, it's good for skin conditions, it lowers blood pressure. It's a great carbohydrate source because it's actually got the inulin, which is a insulin resistant starch, so it doesn't tax your pancreas. So people who are trying to consume uh, lower carbohydrate, lower sugar, uh, this is a preferred carbohydrate for uh, diabetics. Burdock is one of my personal favorite foods. It's delicious. It's almost got like a like a meat, like a steak kind of texture. It's got this uh, very long fiber in it. Uh, I'll take some burdock like this, one of my favorite ways. I get these guys on the cutting board, already washed them off, and we'll chop them into rounds, really thin, like maybe you know eighth of an inch to quarter inch thick. And then we'll roast them with some uh, olive oil and some salt or herbs, and maybe make a a pesto or a dressing that could go over the top of it. It was a very satisfying, hearty, uh, savory, delicious. There's there's nothing that tastes like medicine, but it's very, very good for you. It's a very, very pleasurable eating experience to eat burdock root. You can use them in your tacos, chop them up, put them in your tacos. It goes great in soup. You can saute it, stir fry with it. Extremely versatile, very good for you.